Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. Where do I even begin? The assault on squad 45 is back. Part 5 has been decided and the winners are all laid out in front of you now. And this has been a wild 72 hours. It's been a wild couple of months. When I first got the green light from Mega to spearhead this project, actually help continue the Assault on Squad 45 legacy, I was deeply humbled. And the whole time, I've just been uh, sort of running on this crazy nostalgia train. And every Squad 45 or Old Articulation Mega reference in all these animations has just brought me back to my childhood. When we look back at Squad 45 and the original Mega Toymation Fest, it's incredible to think that back then we could have never seen what would happen in 2022, 2023. Like I would have had no idea back then that I'd still be making these videos and still be continuing this legacy of Halo animations. It's it's wonderful. I've been on just this this great journey the last couple of months of um, if I want to go as extreme as possible, self-discovery. I mean, just understanding the importance of this community and understanding the importance of keeping this community together and keeping it thriving, especially through hard times with Halo. And the last week has been such a testament to that. On Sunday, myself and 16 other incredible judges sat down and watched all 110 Squad 45 Part 5 animations live on stream. It was a wonderful time. There were so many jokes to be had. <laughs> Frederick the Grunt was born and uh, no, it was a wonderful time. I want to start by saying that obviously we have to find a winner here. And it, it 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 was it was so so genuinely challenging. Let me let me tell you. The last two years, we've uh, you know watched all the animations live, and then we've got into our Skype call, and myself and the judges have agreed the winners. And it's always been quite straightforward. We always, when we're watching the animations, we give them one to five star ratings. Then we collate all of our five star ratings together, and usually it's very evident who should be the winner, like based on all of our ratings. But this year. We, we sat on Skype for about two hours deciding and then days after we were squabbling in our Skype calls just not being able to decide on a winner here because it is so genuinely challenging to do and I don't really like in some ways picking a winner because that sort of negates the other entries and that's not what I want to do here. I want to make a point that although we have chosen winners, everybody should feel like a winner in this competition. Over the 110 entries, at least 20 entries have entered all three years in a row and it's crazy to see the quality of their animations compared to 2019, 2020. It's wild. Improved so much and I think that anybody that entered this competition should be so proud of what they produced, even compared to last year. Last year's animation pool was good, but this year's animation pool, there were almost no even, like, mediocre animations. Like, it just, it, it was crazy. And even, like, even a low-quality animation could have been made by someone who put in the same amount of time and is new to stop-motion animation than someone who won first place. It's not all about winning. It certainly isn't, although there are prizes on the line. It's about entering. It's about contributing to this community. It's about feeling like you are part of the Squad 45 legacy. I do also want to give a massive shout Shout out to Frosty Ape. He, without any request, made timestamps of every single one of the animations in the live stream. So if you check the pinned comment on the live stream now, you can check Frosty Ape's comment where he's literally put the timestamps of every single animation so you can watch them at your own ease. It's a really epic thing for you to do and you need to hit me up on my Discord to claim a prize just for that. And none of this would have been possible without our outstanding list of judges, Toe of Ultimate Doom, Demarcation Media, Kevin Hurd's Halo Collector, Noble Six Originals, Remy, Silly Salmon Inc, Chunky Chief, Chief, Mega Chief Constructs Creator, William Shard, Tolson Tubbs, Squishy, The Janus Key Project, LS3D Printing, Zandril, and Strandy42. You guys are outstanding. I cannot thank you enough for the hours. Literally, there were eight hours on that live stream, and a lot of you put in the full eight hours. I cannot thank you enough. And then the two hours of judging afterwards, and all the other messages that have been sent back and forth days after that. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, our judges are the goats. <laughs> they truly are. Like... 
They truly are. So we've got a lot of prizes and a lot of um, winners. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how we did this. So 110 animations. We wanted to shrink it down. We wanted to get it into a sizable amount so we could start to judge it further. So we narrowed it down to 26 entries. And that's because six of those are first place, second place, third place, best story, best animation, and best action. And as agreed, first place will be the official, non-official continuation of the assault on squad 45. And then the other 20, the 20 left over, are going to be sent to Mega, or they already have been sent to Mega, and Mega will be providing some additional prizes, some honorable mentions, some extra categories that I'll announce at a later date. The list of honorable mention animations, and these are ones that we just wanted to make sure we gave acknowledgement to, but if you're not on this list, that still doesn't mean that you don't deserve acknowledgement. You see, it's like a challenging thing. I want everyone to feel like they contributed something really important, which they did, but we wanted to mention these names as well, and these are the names that are being submitted to Mega to be reviewed and some additional prizes to be handed out. V Raptor Hiss, Vibe Studios, Halo Monthly Animations, Primetime Animations, Bricks and Pieces, Orbital Snapshot, Dancely Studios, Cyanic Dragon Wolf, Animation Corner, Green Soldier Productions, JFO Productions, Cassie Customs, Anomaly 101, Thai Guy Studios, Intense Harbor, Beyond Epic, Project 00 MK, Dorm Room Desk, TY Tally, Halo Editor. While you guys may not have won one of the other six prizes, first, second, third, best action, best story, best animation, you still should feel incredibly proud of what you produced. This competition was so fierce. We took it down to numbers at the end. We took it down to whittling away as finely as we could. Like this was really challenging to choose winners. And while those weren't in the top six, I don't really even know if there's necessarily like a top six. It's just like, ah, we have to award different prizes to different people. But everyone was crazy. Like just looking at that list, like Cassie Customs, Wolf at the Gates, like outstanding set pieces. V Raptor Hiss, like an awesome story. Halo Editor, an incredible blend of realistic like CGI imagery and stop motion animation. Vibe Studios, like such incredible set piece design. Like every one of them had such an awesome reason to be a winner and it's so challenging to even choose winners. Before I do though, Demarcation Media wanted to choose a specific animation and award a Halo Hero Series 1 book to. And his is called the Demarcation's Choice Award. So take it away Demarcation Media, let us know who you chose. And the Demarcation's Choice Award goes to number 25 by Halo Monthly Animations. The combination of really just well thought out camera work, really awesome customs, and excellent action made this entry stick out to me out of all the other ones. And I gotta say, it was a hard choice just because there was so many fantastic entries, but number 25 just really stuck with me. So congratulations, Halo Monthly Animations. You will be receiving this Halo Heroes Series 1 buck. The rewards for best action story and animation are HCS exclusive codes. These unlock so many in-game customizations, like the on-track Mark 7 armor coating, on-track emblem, Gladiator's Edge weapon and armor coatings, and the winner's circle emblem. This is an exclusive from HCS, and one of them goes to each of the best action, story, and animation awards. When it came down to the last six, first, second, third, best story, best animation, best action, we really wanted to uh, strip it down to its core basics. This is also why like, we had our top 26, so challenging to even narrow it down to the top six, that we had to ask ourselves, what was the mission objective? And the mission objective was to create an Assault on Squad 45 Part 5. Well, some of these animations were outstanding. A lot of them were not a continuation of Assault on Squad 45. They were a different story. And I get that, like, maybe getting hold of old articulation stuff is quite expensive nowadays. But we wanted something that had animation and story beats that were relevant to the Assault on Squad 45. That's why, for best story, we chose this. <laughs> Defend the base. Hold the line. Sir, the evidence escaped. What? Contact the Oni facility on Kai Seti 4. Tell them to wake him up. Him, sir? He's our last hope.
cap. You all right? John, I knew you'd come. Did anyone else make it? No, it's just us. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. The captain? Negative. The banished occupy this whole planet. As if it weren't bad enough with the Covenant. I failed my squad. I failed them. The best we could do now is fall back. I won't. I know. Let's move out, squad. If the rest of the squad was here, they wouldn't let this happen. <laughs> the mighty demon! <laughs> I thought you'd be taller, demon! What the? Weapons fire! Get out of here. You saved us. It's only fair that I return the favor. Lucky me. <laughs> It was an honor serving with you all. Likewise, sir. Go, go, go! Thought you might need a hand. Yes. yes. That'll take him! Good work. I wouldn't have done it without you. Mjolnir Studios felt like a passing of the torch. I mean, his animation was literally called Legacy. It had the old articulation, filling the boots of the new articulation, and even a nice redemption arc that gave it best story. It starts at the end of part four with a downed elephant and mirrors the end of part two at the end. It's again like a great passing of the torch. This feels like the old articulation helping out the new articulation and showing that they're not irrelevant just yet. And we absolutely love that story. It felt like a continuation of the Assault on Squad 45. When it came to the Best Animation Award, I think there was an obvious winner. Someone who created a perfect blend between stop motion animation and CGI to the point that I had to pause and watch frame for frame to even understand what was going on. And that was of course this. Transmission sent. Good. Set the course to Rally Point Bravo. We'll meet the chief there. Yes, sir. Huh? What's that? Look out! Watch out! Subtold. Nice to see you too, Squidhead. Prepare to meet Daldo. Demon. Take care of this heretic by myself.
Andreas Warmaster opened with the elephant leaving the assault on Squad 45 Part 4 and being attacked by the Arbiter. There are so many great cinematic moments in this, including the thunderstorm and the sword striking each other. And the ending, while left on a cliffhanger, was exactly what Squad 45 was all about, leaving on a cliffhanger. And the animation was just flawless. When the spines get broken out, it looks like it, it, this, this whole thing, like how do you do this? When the spines break out of this shield, it, the whole thing looks like CGI. That's yeah, so that, crazy. That, yeah, yeah, that, that is all. That's all that, that right there, that's crazy. I highly recommend you check all of these out again. They are just wild. Congratulations, Andreas Warmast. Now, best action goes to an animator that uh, I was on the edge of my seat for the entire episode. It was so fast paced, so action packed that we thought it deserved best action. <laughs>
congratulations, Yellow Chief. An outstanding use of camera work. The Chief versus Brute fight scene was just epic. This is an immediate uh, five star. Oh, oh Whoa! Wow. Cool animation. Wow. The Arbiter taking damage, I actually felt it. I felt attached to that character. There was a great use of motion blur and very creative takedowns and even a 3D printed pelican. It was action all the way through and we loved it. And now we come to first, second and third and this was so, so difficult. But we had to do it and when we sat there, we had to think what continues the Assault on Squad 45 legacy? What is a continuation of the story and what also has epic animation. Very rightfully, in third place is this. Spartans? What are you doing here? Sir, we're soldiers from Squad 45. Wait a minute. Squad 45? Where's the rest of you? The rest of us didn't make it, sir. Oh, I see. Well, why don't you come inside? I'm sure you boys have been through a lot. Is your army ready? Yes, sir. All of my men are armed and ready. Excellent. Move your ships close to the base. I'll let you know when we attack. The Covenant has a special type of cannon. A tyrant. A tyrant? That's what they call it. It destroyed one of our falcons while we were getting attacked. If they bring one to this base, we won't stand a chance. That can't be good. Come on. Let's check it out. We'll be back, sir. Got it. Be careful. Fort Lee's platoon rides through with 20 second tactical at Bullhead Charlie 14. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Yeah, I'm fine. Whoever's left needs your help. Understood.
A huge round of applause to our third place, Will Star One Two Three. Your animation was so epic. It was. It was just. It, there was no other word for it. It was so epic. The amount of references to Squad Forty Five, I felt like I was just watching the next part. You have a mongoose roll into base with two surviving Spartans. They reference all of Squad Forty Five. They even reference the Tyrant, which was the standout part of the animation for me. That they actually referenced the Tyrant, which was the main story beat of Part Four. That's what the Spartans were trying to find. That's what destroyed the Falcon. It was a perfect continuation of the story. There was a lot of great action. A lot of great animation a lot of great muzzle flares, very moody lighting, great slow-mo action. Ah, oh, it had everything. It had everything. And then, of course, Chief saves the day. The Chief is just at the very core of Halo. Like, he's 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 the greatest hero ever made. To see him take control at the end and win the fight is special for me. And to see cooperation between old articulation and new is also super nostalgic. The Chief just shined in this animation, and I really think it deserved third place. And it also ends on a cliffhanger with the Arbiter, which again, Squad 45 is synonymous for cliffhangers. So congratulations, Willstar123, very well deserved. But wait till you see number two. Uh, second place goes to someone who actually won one of the categories last year, and it's so deserving that they got second place this time. It's an awesome, awesome story about the Master Chief. This is second place. fitting entry for second than Loft Studios. Again, he won one of the categories last year and he's won again because his animation style is so sick. There are so many creative lighting techniques in this that, that just blew me away. Every single one of the characters' movements is so both intentional and also representative of the character. Every Covenant figure moves like a Covenant figure would. The way the energy sword lights up, the way the lights shine, little flashlights shine on Chief as his energy shields get drained. One of the standout parts of this to the judges was when the brute shot actually jams. And you can see frame by frame the brute trying to unjam it as it's been charred, and then it blows up and creates charred marks on his chest. Like there was real battle damage that occurred throughout the animation based on what kind of damage they were receiving. It was epic. The flickering <laughs> light on that. Yo. This is 91. Oh. Yeah! Hey, hey, let's go! Hey. Let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> it's the OG! It's the boys! It was epic. It was like our childhood. Again, a passing of the torch story. You saw the original Mega Bloks character that we grew up with, our childhood, saving the new articulation Master Chief. The Squad 45 lines up and takes the brute out. It's so insanely good. If I was being completely honest, 
This one could have won first place. I think the only thing that set us back slightly was that it didn't quite have as many story beats associated with the Assault on Squad 45. Like, the first place, it's Squad 45. I didn't really think we'd receive an animation to this kind of standard where, like, not only has the animator for first place uh, animated something incredible. He's also done his research. The color grading is spot on to Squad 45. The set pieces and the characters and the way it's animated, the movement of the guns as they fire, it's Squad 45. And this is meant to be the official non-official continuation of the assault on Squad 45. So we wanted something special and we got something special. It is chaotic and nonsensical and we love it. So without further ado, I present to you the winner of the Toymation Fest 2022. Check it out. I see the Arbiter. Copy that. Target has been spotted. Freeze! Distraction has been deployed. Massive round of applause to Krustia with his entry, Squad 45 Part 5. This thing is so wacky. <laughs> like, it's, it's so crazy. It's all over the place. While it may have things like visible tack on people's feet, we just couldn't come away from the fact that this was Squad 45. As mentioned, old articulation uh, vehicles and old mega sets are becoming quite expensive now. They're becoming antiques. So what does he do? He uses PNGs, moves them, puts proper muzzle flares and movement and puts proper muzzle flares and sound effects on these PNGs and has an epic battle because the Assault on Squad 45 is also about epic scale battles. And while he was limited in space, he created that scope with an external battle with Spartans and drop pods falling from the sky and it worked so well. The comedy is super goofy, but also Spot 45 was super goofy at times. It's, it's just wonderful. <laughs> this is great. This is amazing. He dabbed him up. He dabbed him up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We believe it was the most accurate to the original vision of the Assault on Squad 45. It had correct color grading and firing animations, the scenery, everything was awesome. And then Christia put something in that um, I didn't expect. Roll the clip. Does anyone remember this? This is going into like old school lore, right? Halo Megablocks animation contest. What was it in? 2000 and... 11? Codename Sweeper? Really? This is what it looks like. There he is! There he's got the, he's got the broom! It's him! 
It's Broom Guy! <laughs> it's Broom Guy! The true Easter egg. Originally, there was an animation called Codename Sweep, and it was a winner of the original official Mega Bloks. Toymation Fest. This was called the Christmas Toymation Fest because Mega used to run their Toymation Fest in summer. The original animation competition, one of the winners was codenamed Sweeper with a Marine who fought off a Covenant invasion force with a broom. That Marine was in the animation and it played a sound relating back to that animation. Like there couldn't have been a more deep dive, a more hardcore acknowledgement of what came before than this animation. <laughs> So while this competition was fiendishly difficult to pick a winner, I believe that Crustia stood out as the most direct adaptation and continuation of the Assault on Squad 45, down to the lighting, down to the scenery and the sound effects and the animation style and everything. I think Crustia deserves first place. Congratulations. As mentioned before, the other 20 honorable mentions, they were all so epic and they've been sent off to Mega. Mega's going to award some additional prizes for that. I don't know, man. My heart's full. Uh, the Assault on Squad 45 lives and the last couple of months have just been such a journey for me. The last couple of months have taught me that like this community is so embedded in my soul. Like it's, 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 it's so much a part of me. I've been with this community since 2009 and I've been a YouTuber with this community for 11 years. What this animation contest has taught me really is that I kind of value this community above almost anything else in my life. I mean, I, I, I love it so much. I have a, a responsibility to protect it and uphold it, especially through difficult times. This has just made me look towards the future and get excited about animation again. It was, again, so difficult even picking a top 26 and don't ever feel like your animation was not good enough if it wasn't in those 26. Like, you did something that you should be proud of and I look forward to seeing how much you've improved next year. One one last shout out to Sword Elite Animations for creating the Frederick the Grunt meme. Absolutely beautiful. And thank you guys so, so much for all the support and all the love and um, just, just, uh, just thank you guys. Like this has really been a special couple of months for me to be able to continue the Assault on Squad 45 legacy. So congratulations to Best Story, Mjolnir Studios, Best Animation, Andreas Warmaster, Best Action, Yalo Chief. Congratulations to third place, Willstar123, second place, Loft Studios, and first place, the one, the only, Crustier with the Assault on Squad 45 part five. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, you stay awesome. You stay so, oh, super duper safe out there. And long live the assault on squad 45.